Sandhar Mama Tarti Charitam Avapnuyat Kamana Vapnuyat Kami Prajarti Prapnuyat Praja Bhakti Manya Sadothaya Suchitad Gatamana Saha Sahasram Vasudevasya Nam Nam Etat Prakirtaye Yasha Pratnoti Vipulam Nyati Pradhanya Mevacha Achalam Shriyam Apnoti Shreya Prapnoti Anuttamam Nabhayam Kvachid Apnoti Viryam Tejascha Vindati Bhavat Yarogi Dutiman Balarupa Gunan Vitaha Rogarto Muchate Rogad Bandho Muchate Bandhanat Bhayan Muchate Bhitas Tu Mucheta Panna Apadaha Durgam Yatitaratyasu Purusha Purushotamam Stuvam Nama Sahasrena Nityam Bhakti Saman Vitaha Vasudeva Shrayo Martyo Vasudeva Parayanaha Sarva Papa Vishuddhatma Yati Brahma Sanatanam Navasudeva Bhaktanam Asubham Vidyate Kvachiti Janma Mrityu Jaravyadhi Bhayam Naivopajayate Imam Stava Madhiyana Shadha Bhakti Saman Vitaha Yujyetatma Sukakshanti Shri Dhriti Smriti Kirti Bihi Nakrodham Nachamatsaryam Nalobho Nasubhamatihi Bhavanti Krita Punyanam Bhaktanam Purushottame Jyausa Chandraka Nakshatra Khandisho Bhurmaho Dadrihi Vasudevasya Viryena Vidhritani Manatmanaha Sasura Sura Gandharvam Sayaksho Raga Rakshasam Jagad Vashe Vartate Dham Krishnasya Sacharacharam Indriyani mano buddhi sattvam te jo balam dhritihi Vasudevatmakan yahuhu kshetram kshetragnya evacha Sarvagamana machara pratamang parikalpate Achara prabhavo dharmo dharmasya prabhurachutaha Rishaya Pitaro Deva Mahabhutani Dhatavaha Jangama Jangamam Bhedam Jagam Narayanod Bhavam Yogo Jnanam Tata Sankyam Vidya Shilpadi Karmacha Veda Shastrani Vijnanam Etat Sarvam Janardhanat Eko Vishnur Mahad Bhutan Pritag Bhutan Yane Kashaha Trilokan Vyapya Bhutatma Bhunte Vishwa Bhugavyayaha Imam Stavam Bhagavato Vishnur Vyasena Kirtitam Pate Dhyayichet Purusha Shreya Praptum Sukhanicha Vishveshvaram ajam devam jagata prabhavapyayam Bhajanti ye pushkaraksham nate yanti parabhavam Om namo bhagavate vasudevaya It's getting easier now, huh? I was going to say it's getting harder. <laughs> Because I know my mistakes are coming and they come, I'm going to be more perfect. It's as hard. I mean, this is really hard. For a Westerner who doesn't know Devanagari, doesn't know Sanskrit, um, you know, 
if you haven't grown up in the culture, if you haven't been exposed to long Sanskrit chants, this is technically is called a stotra. Stotra means a long excerpt from the Vedas usually. Um, this happens to be from Mahabharata. And uh, it's a prayer, it's a classic prayer uh, that can be repeated again and again. And every time you get some specific benefit, and the specific benefits are listed in the, the end section called Palashuti. Pala means results. So uh, when we hear these results, it's amazing because this, the power of this mantra touches so many things. I mean, really, it affects every aspect of our existence. And you, you might say, well, you know, what can you get by just sitting around for half an hour, 45 minutes, and, and chanting some old prayer in some old book? <laughs> well, that question belies a number of assumptions. And none of these assumptions are guaranteed to be correct. Uh, for example, the assumption is that time is a linear progression from past, which means primitive and ancient and, and mythological uh, period, to our more modern scientific period of progress. Yes, now we're about to progress ourselves right into ecological crisis, financial meltdown, political uh, crisis, end of, of the uh, uh, global corporate society and nuclear war and all that. Great. That's real progress for you, huh? We've gone from war with sticks and stones to war with nuclear weapons. Yay, progress. Huh? And all the other things that are touted as progress are similarly questionable. So, uh, you know, when, while this stuff is around, we'll use it. You know, but if we have to go back to a more natural, simpler way of living, that's fine, then we'll use that. You know, we're not attached to all this stuff. And we certainly don't think that it represents some kind of progress. You know, real progress means that we reach spiritual enlightenment. That's permanent progress. Uh, once you become enlightened, it can't be taken away from you. You can never lose it. So uh, real progress means that we go from this gross physical consciousness to a higher level of spiritual consciousness, and ultimately Krishna consciousness. Uh -huh. So uh, anyone who chants this prayer will get a good chance to do that. Um, I wanted to mention some, uh, looking at uh, Shloka 92. We had a request sometime to explain each Shloka. I'm not going to do it in order. I'm just going to pick out ones that, well, I don't know, I feel like talking about. <laughs> Suvarna varno he mango varangash chandanangadi viraha vishama shunyo dhritashi rachalash chalaha. Suvarna Varna Hemango means Lord Krishna appears in Kali Yuga as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and in his early years plays the role of a Brahmana householder with a golden complexion. Suvarna means Brahmana, the best of the Varnas, huh? best of the Brahmana. And uh, he's the, of the Brahmanas, Lord Chaitanya is the best of the Brahmanas. He's the Supreme Lord, so he's the best of everything. Hey, mango means a complexion of gold. Varanga means his limbs are beautiful, and Chandanangari, his body smeared with sandalwood pulp, seems like molten gold. Uh, we've seen people in India with this golden complexion. Srila Prabhupada had uh, this golden complexion. Very attractive. And when this is, um, when they are smeared with sandalwood pulp, then they seem to glow. It's very nice. Viraha. He kills lust, greed, and all other enemies of his devotees. Vishima. 
No one is equal to or greater than him who protects the devotees and kills the demons. Shunya. He is free from all material defects, and he made the entire world unsafe for the demons and atheists. Dhritashi. He grants all auspiciousness to his devotees. Rachala. He was unmoving in his determination to protect the Pandavas from all danger. And Chala. He broke his own promise not to take up any weapon in the Kurukshetra war to keep the promise of his devotee, Bhishma. Uh, Bhishma, of course, was the great grandsire of the Kuru dynasty and uh, the grandfather of the Pandavas and the Kurus, both. So uh, when the war of Kurukshetra came, Krishna said, uh, I will not fight. And Balaram went on 